Hello, my name's Colin Roach, and I have a new podcast I want to tell you about. It's called Culinary School Stories, and it can be listened to for free on all of the major podcast services and players, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Overcast, and all the others. You can also hear it on its website at www.culinaryschoolstories.com, which is where each episode is permanently stored, along with the guest's bio and the show notes. Of course, the show also has its own YouTube channel, and here's the address. So it's an easy way to listen and get a little bit of a visual at the same time. And new episodes are released every Monday. So now let's check out the show's trailer. I think that briefly, um, there were points in my life where I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> and it's, again, those those moments where you like you you go through difficult times. I think that the first time that I experienced working in a three Michelin star restaurant, and you're not used to that. I was working 16 to 18 hours a day, sleeping on a basement in the restaurant and getting the the, the, the amount of pressure that you get from the chefs at, at those restaurants. It was it was hard. I was I think I was 18 years old. Um, I'd never left, you know, Panama and certainly I'm, I'm in Spain uh, working in this place and it was hard and I was like, what am I, what am I doing? Culinary School Stories is a weekly podcast that is dedicated to sharing the stories of people from around the world who have an association with a culinary school. While I was in school at Johnson & Wales, for the most part, I lived on my 37-foot sailboat uh, in Key Biscayne or in, in right off of Biscayne Boulevard in a marina. When you present something to my dad, uh, you always like to be very prepared. Um, and I was, uh, you know, about to tell him, hey, I... Yes, I know I wanted to do the medical school thing. I'm struggling a little bit. I, I really think I'd love to take some time to maybe take a year or so off and, and try out culinary school. I think one of my first jobs out of culinary school was uh, I worked at Payway. My name is Dr. Colin Roach, and I'm the host of Culinary School Stories. With years of experience as a professional chef and culinary educator, it is my joy and privilege to share the amazing stories of current culinary school students and alumni, as well as faculty and administrators whose lives have been influenced, impacted, touched, and or enriched, for good or for bad, from their culinary school experience. Oh yeah, I, I, if, if I had to, even if I had to pay, it was the best two years of my life. It was the best two years of my life because imagine waking up every day and just going in and, and cooking and learning. My worst class would have to be, I, I don't know the exact name of it, but it's the meat class. Oh my gosh, we had to break down all those animals. I felt so bad for them. And culinary is about connecting with people. Not a lot of people know this. The girls took the labs way more seriously than the men in the labs. Right before I went to culinary school, which is probably kind of gave me a little push as well, I got I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer, and uh, it was a curable cancer. This, you know, I had my thyroid removed, and I had some radiation. And uh... getting to the sous chef position was about ten years. Ten years of long days, long hours. I hope you will listen in on these engaging interviews to learn what each guest has to say when we ask them to share their culinary school story.